Now, I love cooking food from all around the world, but every now and then I don't get it quite right and you guys let me know in the comments. So we have come here to Nashville, Tennessee, the home of hot chicken, to find out how it's done in this series called Origins. And we're at the original, Princess Hot Chicken. We're gonna go in, catch up with Miss Andre and see how it's all done. Let's get stuck in. And this video is sponsored by Flight Center, but more on them later. All right, so we are very privileged to be here today with Miss Andre. Miss Andre, thank you. Thank you for coming on the show. What year did you start in the chicken shop? 1980. My mother chose me to, to take over the family business that uh, was always there as long as I can remember. It's still going on. Well, I think it's that's still testament. still carrying on. Well, I think that's testament to you and your hard work. <laughs> When the opportunity came up and my great uncle, my great uncle's wife said she wanted to get out of the business, she asked my mother if she knew anybody, 43 years now, yep. and I'm still here. Yeah, you're still here. And we walked in I and, and it. you were still straight away. You were like, fill up the paper towels, pick up that. You, you never turn off, do you? I, 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 well, I hope, well, <laughs> at one point I will turn <laughs> off. <laughs> My mother always said, "Is you have what people want, they gonna find their way to your door." Yeah. Have mercy. She always said that. Have mercy. Growing up. Yeah. So hey, I found that to be true. I'm still trying to, trying to chuck alone. <laughs> but you, chuck you had alone. some uh, some pretty famous people through those doors. Oh can, my can, goodness. Can you mention any names? It's, it's, it's endless, endless. Have mercy. Shaquille O'Neal comes oh, whenever he comes. Whenever he, he gets ready. Have mercy. Whenever he gets ready, uh, Jerry Seinfeld, Beyonce, and Jay Z. I, I mean, hey, <laughs> of course, Oprah. Is, uh, yeah. She grew up in Nashville, as you know, of course. Famously, you don't let anyone in your kitchens, which I respect. Well, I made a mistake once. Right. Man versus food. Uh. <laughs> Adam. Yeah. I think, that was a yep. long yeah, time yeah. ago when it first started. Now you see all these pop-ups. Yeah. <laughs> hot chicken, hot chicken, everybody's got a hot chicken. So what's the secret that keeps the people coming back? How, how do you make your chicken so delicious? Well, I think it's just the conversation piece. Sure. Because I ask people who are, who are kind of shy, bring your date here, <laughs> who doesn't talk much, and, and, and introduce them to Hot chicken. They're gonna talk. They're gonna open it up and express themselves. And they say it's good for sinuses, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, clear medical up. purposes. It's good for <laughs> hiccups, they said. How do you eat your chicken when you eat chicken in your restaurant? Mild. Mild. <laughs> I have, uh -uh. medium is hot. People have their own stories as to why they like spicy, but I'm mostly indebted to them helping me pay my bills. I think it's a testament to you, the delicious food you've been making for the community and your incredible, you know, personality and smile. So thank you so much for all you've done. And thank you for our thank you letting for us great interview. Attention. Yeah. Yeah, first. So I'm going to order some chicken now. I'm excited. I'm probably not going to get it extra hot because I'm. Oh, please. <laughs> I would recommend it because, you know, it's a purifying chicken. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time, Miss Andre. It's been an absolute pleasure. Well, thank you. And I hope, I hope everything goes well. And I hope I'll be able to, because of you being here, I'll be able to play one more view. <laughs> well, I hope so too. Thank you, man. Yeah, All right, Miss Andre, right here. Yeah, she's she's insisted can. that I've I've got to try the hot. There's still two levels of hotness above this. I think I feel even more nervous that Miss oh, Andre is watching me. It. You're used to spicy um, food. I am, but I'm still a little wimp. All right, let's yeah. try. Yeah, it's pretty spicy. <laughs> It, 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 don't it's get good. nervous, just calm. It's gone. <laughs> it's good. There's your water. Thank right you, ma'am. <laughs> it's delicious. It's very good well, chicken. Well, well, I, I hope so. Yeah, it's not it's not just hot so. for no reason, I think. Like it's it's well balanced, it's really well seasoned, it's cooked nicely. It's delicious chicken, man. Well I hope I hope it is. But I'm not going to try. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was an incredible interview with Miss Andre, and she made me taste the hot, what you just saw, which was actually delicious. Right here, we've got some, some medium tenders. we got some medium leg. 
some mild breast, fries, mac and cheese, collard greens, and coleslaw. But even after just tasting that one piece of hot, this chicken, there's a reason people keep coming back here, and that's because it's really well cooked, really well seasoned, and absolutely delicious. So we're gonna get stuck into this before we head up our next chicken spot. More on that soon. Before we get to our next meal, I wanted to stop to take a second to thank Flight Center. As you can see, we're in Nashville, Tennessee, but how did we get here? Flight Center organized all of our flights, transfers, and hotels, making it super seamless, having one point of contact for our whole itinerary. If you love exploring the US or any part of the world as much as we do, then make sure you go check out flightcenter.com for the current deals. Their website is really easy to navigate, and you can search by flight, deal, date, or even mode of transport. You can even view thousands of activities or even get instant quotes on travel insurance. So jump online now and check out what deals are on or head over to their YouTube channel for some holiday inspiration. Thanks again to Flight Center for bringing this whole trip to life. Now back to the chicken. Scratch, good. So now we're at Party Fowl. We're gonna jump in the kitchen with Chef Troy. He's gonna show us how they make their delicious chicken. And then we're gonna catch up with Austin, the owner, and find out what this place is all about. Let's get stuck in. Troy, how are you? Good, how are you doing, Andy? I'm good, brother. Thank awesome. you for having us. Yeah, pleasure. Let's get in this kitchen and awesome. let's start cooking, Sounds huh? Sounds good. <laughs> all right. That's a lot of fries. Yes, we do fry some chicken here. <laughs> Let's talk through your marination process. Yeah, so here we do a buttermilk brine okay. and we brine it for 24 hours. Okay. And we're doing buttermilk, water, salt. We throw in some Louisiana hot sauce, yeah. some black pepper and some other spices. How much raw chicken do you guys go through here on a busy day? Maybe 200 pounds of wow. chicken. Okay. Yeah, so we fly through some chicken. Yeah, yeah. We do whole birds yeah. that we do for our beer butts. And then we got the half birds, which we do in quarters. We have the tenders and we do livers too. We try to use every part of the bird. You do livers? Yeah. Awesome. And we have this awesome bam bam sauce that we toss it in. It's awesome. It sounds delicious. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to try that for sure. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, do you mind if I chuck some gloves on and, and have a crack yeah, at breading this? All right, chef. I'm just guessing I'll just pull these half birds out. So that's the leg quarter, and then we usually try to, to pop that hip bone right there. Yeah, right. Especially for that vessel right there, so it gets all the way cooked through. Yeah, okay. Makes it easier to eat, too, yeah. I guess. And are we pushing in pretty hard here? Yeah, we're yeah. trying to get that flour on there pretty firm. Yeah. Get it completely coated, and then we'll just set it on the tray and let us do its thing for a few minutes. So you always leave the wings on your breasts? We do, yes. Yep. All right, you're hired. Yes. Give your next fry cook. <laughs> 20 minutes later, back so in the flour. We just want to make sure it's coated so we get that okay. extra skin, crispy skin on it. We do not go back okay. to the buttermilk. Because okay. after that 20 minutes, that flour kind of it's turns into enough. a dough yeah, for yeah. itself. Cool. So we can go straight into the fryer. The temperature is going to be 280 degrees. So that will cook for 16 minutes. Yeah. That'll be like a beautiful golden brown. What we're going to do is we're going to get into the cooler, put it on speed racks, let it cool. Once they're cooled, we're going to throw them in the fryer that's at 325 and for about two and a half minutes till they get back up yeah. to temp and get all crispy yeah. and then they're good to go. After the first fry, they go back in the second fry when the order comes up. Correct. Yeah. After they're fried, that's when we figure out what temperature they want it as yeah. far as spice level. Mild, yeah. medium, hot, and our hottest we call poultry guys. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How do you order yours? Um, I don't go above mild. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can eat the medium, I can eat the hot, but I'm not gonna enjoy it sure, as much as sure. I would the mild. Everyone who wants to Sweat hate baby. their life, those poultry guys. <laughs> yeah. The mild is mostly gonna be the cayenne. That's what a lot of the heat's gonna be. So we're gonna take the spice and then we're gonna take oil at 280. We yeah. just pull it straight out of the fryer mm -hmm. uh, and let it bloom for five minutes. Let all those flavors and the peppers get roasted up a little bit in there. Then we're gonna suspend it with some lard yep. and bacon fat. Yep. And then that brings all those flavors together. Incredible. The hot is gonna have habanero in it, a lot of the cayenne as well. And when we get up to the poultry guys, that's where we get crazy. Get cra crazy. We get the Carolina Reaper, <laughs> oh, Ghost, okay. all that fun stuff that <laughs> you don't really want in your body. I'll, I'll be passing that one. That. <laughs> all right, should we get dunking some chicken? Yeah, let's dunk some chicken. So the ones I have out for you right now, is mild and hot. Okay. I wasn't gonna kill you with the poultry <laughs> guys. <laughs> we'll do one of each for you today. Straight and in. Straight into the oil. And how long do we stay? Do they stay in there? Um, I want to keep it in there for about 20 seconds. Yeah, so right. Let that really soak into that breading. I'm gonna let a lot of that drip off, and you'll see the hot. A lot of that spice is sticking <laughs> to the chicken now. <laughs> At the bottom of this, we have what we call mud. Mud. And we go ahead and throw it right on top of it. Okay. Should we plate yeah. this up, Chef? Yeah, let's plate it up. We're gonna throw some Texas toast down. Yeah. And we're just gonna lay it right on the bread, right there, like that. I'll flip that over so it's uh, 
Oh yeah, we're they're pretty sad. They're pretty sad up. Two slices of pickles. Beautiful. And there you go, right there like that. Off they go. Well, thank you, chef. Yes, thank you. I'm gonna go and enjoy this chicken. Yeah, enjoy. I'm gonna whip up a few more things for you to try. Good luck with that hot. Legend, thank you. <laughs> Austin, thank yes. you so much for having us into your space today. Austin is the uh, founder and the owner, the operator of this incredible establishment. Yeah. Well, one of the things in doing our research is that you pay a great respect to you know princes oh, yeah. and the lovely Miss Andre. Absolutely. And, and I really like that you, that you talk about that honestly. So how's your relationship with Miss Andre? Are you still- uh, Oh man, we uh, um, every time we see her in an event, we have to kiss the rings because that's mama. Yeah. That's that's where hot chicken comes from. That is That family is why we even get to do what we do. So we always try to make sure people are aware of that and they know where the, where the history of this dish comes from. Well, I think we're going to start eating some food. I'm going to start with the mild that's the hot we'll save that for last because i might not be able to talk after that i don't think you'll be all right <laughs> i'm not as uh, polite as you no, i'm just, just gonna, gonna go with your fingers oh yeah. yeah my mother always said that if it's got wings you can use your fingers mm. that's awesome great mm. level, level of spice not too spicy at all i really love this crunchy coating outside that's kind of what makes it Thank really you. special for me here in nashville nashville hot chicken is cayenne 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 yep. as we creep up habanero blend habanero pure then we get into the reapers and the scorpions yeah, and yeah. the ghost peppers and so so at each level you go up your palate is getting hit yep. multiple different angles different you know sweetnesses yeah. different notes and so that's one of the things we're most proud about is when people say they go to our hottest level and there's still flavor there yeah. even that that's got great flavor i'm going to save myself and not eat too much of that i'm going to try this beignet next i think excessive amount of powdered sugar that's how you know it's a good beignet mm -hmm. that's sweet as that beignet you know dough with the hot chicken that's really good all right just cut this burger in half i was gonna say good burger it's not a burger in the states is it it's a sandwich mm -hmm. <laughs> You get in trouble for that. All I right. feel like all we're doing is just dancing around the devil at the moment, but we're almost there. Do you want to pass those livers over? I do. These I'm super excited about. I love chicken livers. My grandfather was a poultry farmer, mm -hmm. so we grew up eating a lot of chicken. Yeah. The whole bird. So these are uh, these look pretty good. Oh yeah. The crunchiness works well. All right. I'm gonna do it. Are you ready for it? Yeah, I'm ready. I'll show over that. I don't want to rob you of a dill pickle there. <laughs> Whoop. There's the Nashville hot. It's definitely hot. Mm -hmm. So this is the habanero pure added to the cayenne, cayenne, cayenne. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that is proper spicy, but it is good. Like the, there is a layer of flavor there. It's not just hot for the sake of it. You can definitely taste that chili in there. Nice and crunchy, well seasoned. Man, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Mm. Austin, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much, my friend. It's been Great an absolute pleasure. You. I'm gonna finish my chicken in peace so I can sweat and blow my nose. <laughs> All right, next spot, 400 degrees, where we're gonna catch up with Aki, who's gonna run us through how she does her hot chicken. I'm excited about this one. She sounds like a bit of a character. How are you? Hey, what's up? What's up? <laughs> so good Hi, to meet you. Aki, nice Andy, to meet you. Andy, lovely to meet up, you. Andy? You good? We're gonna eat some chicken? We're gonna eat some chicken. We're gonna cook some chicken. Amazing. Do you need an apron? Yes, please. Let's this oh. is what happens when I cook chicken. No, this is the reality is of everything, right? <laughs> I like you. You're laughing already. I like you. This is my chicken. Fantastic. So, yeah. People speak very highly of your chicken here around here. You know what? God, I'm so blessed. I've been doing this almost 20 years. 20 years? I've been doing it almost. You look about 21. No, please don't. Yeah, you know, black don't crack. Black don't crack. I love it. Yep. So if you come to this location, I'm the only person that cooks the chicken. So it's going to be exactly it's the you. same. I only do 11 to 3. Amazing. I don't, I don't do a lot. Amazing. I just do enough. Yep. Put my water in the bowl. Sure. We don't use fancy water. So everybody says, how do you get that chicken so crispy? Water. <laughs> it's just water. It's... We don't do buttermilk. We don't do egg. Nothing. It's just water. Just, just nat Nashville's finest. It's water. Oh, pork chop. Oh, we're gonna do a pork oh. chop. It's just gonna, it doesn't take that long, so in 10 minutes. Amazing. You'll, you'll I'm have, excited. You'll, you'll have the best of the best. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get out tenders. Yep. So how brave are you feeling? How oh, brave are you feeling? Look, I like spicy, but I don't like, okay. I like to taste my food. Okay, I'm not gonna burn you up. Yeah, then. please. Okay, so most important thing here is that you season your flour. Yeah. So the magic starts here. Yeah. What's in your seasoning or, you, or is it a secret? No, no, I you know, I tell you. <laughs> We're friends now, okay. <laughs> so we do garlic, pepper, and we do okay. lorries. We're simply gonna take our meat, 
put it directly in the flour. We're gonna cook it. Yep. The wetter it is, the crispier it is. Straight and straight. Don't hesitate, don't hesitate. shake. So we got the flavor. Yeah, yeah. Now we have the coating. Yep. You can see, actually look at it to see how crispy yeah. it is based off the coating. Oh, the crinkly bits. That's it. It looks good. Drop it in, Tim, and we're gonna cook that baby for 10 minutos. 10 minutos. That's it. What temperature is your oil? The oil is at 325. Okay, okay. So let's do the chop. I put two baskets together yep. to keep the chop flat. That's the, see, I'm letting you, I'm letting you in All on the too secret. many secrets. <laughs> That's your chop. Beautiful. And the chop has a bone, because you know yeah, what? Yeah. The flavor is on that bone. 100%. And you cook everything fresh? Cook everything fresh. We get up to an hour, an yeah. hour and a half wait, and guess what? Yeah. They wait on it. They wait. They, they wait. wait. Have you, how long have you been in this site for? I've been here for about seven years. Yeah, okay. okay. I grew up in the neighborhood about a mile from here. I okay. grew up in poverty. Okay. So I just like to stay in the area yeah. to give people hope. Yeah, yeah. Say, yeah. hey, I grew up the little black yeah. girl down the street, yeah, yeah. and then look, so if I can do it, guess what? You can do it. Yeah, yeah. love that, love That's that. That's it, yeah, yeah, so yeah. it works, you know? Let me check on this chop. There we go. Oh, it looks good, though. There you go. I say the chop will be ready in about two minutes. Okay. So as the chop cooks, let me set it up for okay, you. Let me show you how we set. For you, I'm gonna use my special oh, paper. Oh, the special look. paper. You're gonna get the branded paper. The 400 degrees, <laughs> baby, <laughs> for you. We're gonna stay true to tradition. Yeah. And tradition is a slice of white, white bread. bread. We don't do no brioche, you no. know what I mean? <laughs> We don't do that. This is what we do. <laughs> Place the bread here, and then we're gonna accompany the bread with a couple of pickles on the yeah, side. Yeah. Let's talk about our let's, degrees let's because our about. food's about to come out. Cool. The temperature start at zero degrees. Sure. Zero is plain, just like you would fry it at the house. Yeah. You're gonna have plenty of flavor yeah. because we season the flour. Sure. So we go from zero to 100. Yeah. 100 is spicy with a little kick. Yeah, okay. And then the 200 is my favorite. Okay. It's medium. Okay. So you're gonna perspire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your sinus cavity is gonna yeah, yeah. open, but you're gonna love it. And 400 is extreme. So what we do is we add 100% ground habanero Woo. to the 400. And I ate it once, cause of course when <laughs> yeah. I was experimenting, yeah, yeah. you gotta taste it, but everything burned. Yeah. And off the menu, we have 500. Oh. <laughs> 800, 900, and look, oh, man. No, my, thank you. my white customers love 900, okay? <laughs> I get people that send recovery and they yeah. say it gives them that rush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a drug for me, yeah, yeah. I crave it. So this is it, make it. Hey, I ship this all over the world. Do you? Wow. You can order this on our website. This is my recipe. This is the famous 400 degree recipe and all you do is add oil. Yeah, the yeah, hotter yeah. it is, the better it is. Yeah, just kind of cook those spices out a little bit with the hot oil. It does. Yeah, oh yeah. my, this is the magic right here. It smells good. Oh, it does. Yeah. Look at you. Ooh. Look at you. <laughs> and then I'm simply going to pour this chop out of there. She's okay. floating. She's ready. So look. <laughs> oh, look That's at that. That's the magic, baby. Look at the crispy bits. So there we go. In we go. And she goes. And then I'm simply going to brush it on. And then it's going to kind of roll down because everything's hot. Our sauce is hot. <laughs> that, that, that looks spicy. <laughs> That's the 200, so we're gonna drain the excess. Okay. Oh yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is seasoning salt, it's spicy. This adds more heat and okay. it adds more flavor. Okay. Put that baby on there, <laughs> make it pretty for you. Let me put some on that. There you go, pretty for you. You wanna do the tenders, you wanna do a zero, a one, and a two. So let's line this baby up. Less of it. Less of it, okay. That's gonna be our mild. Very good. It's efficient too, yeah? Same one, just different levels. Man, come I like on. It. Look at you. I like it. Easy. You know easy. how you know how this works. We like easy. So the first one's gonna be plain. Okay. Look that's, at that. That's a hundred. Baby, that's one hundred, and that thing is beautiful. It does. Look, Look at, at the, the crust. crispiness. I can't get over it. I told you, baby. It. Look at that. So if you're at the two and the four, you make it the exact same way. The only difference is we add the habanero to elevate the heat. Sure, sure. So that's what we're about to do now. Okay. Look Mike. at that. And then we're gonna add the habanero boom. <laughs> and that's the four. That's the four. So zero, one, two, four, and then we're gonna add more flavor and more heat on there. Okay. Voila, magic. It looks stunning. So are you ready to eat? I am. I'm a bit nervous, but I'm ready. No, Let's don't go. Don't be nervous. Okay, ma'am. That's that. Bone appetit. Thank you, ma'am. Where do I start? Start with the zero, and then we're gonna work our way up. Sure. That's delicious. Talk to me. It's seasoned beautifully. Mm -hmm. It's super crispy. It's mm -hmm. juicy. It is. Man, that's good chicken. All right, 100. 100. You working your way up, honey. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. still have the flavor, mm -hmm. but you have a little heat, right? Mm -hmm. Just a little, not too much. But not too much. Yeah. So we sell more 100 degrees than any other degree because it's safe. Really? Of course. Everybody wants mild. Oh, I want a mild, <laughs> you know? Right, let's go. And that's 200. 200. That's my favorite. This is the one, huh? You're making the bite smaller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Do your thing. She called me out. Do your thing. Now, yeah, you're smart. You're smart. I'm ready. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. More heat, mm -hmm. and you keep the flavor. Mm -hmm. right, that's the level I think I would order. Really? Yep. And you can eat like I can, a full can eat. meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and, you, and you know you're eating something spicy, mm -hmm. but you're not like, get me out of here. There you go. Yeah, we don't want you out of here. No. Now, that 400 is a different level. Okay. The four is different. Okay. There you go. I'm nervous. No, please don't. Just go in. I'm going <laughs> in. Just do it. Mm. Yeah, that's spicy. <laughs> yeah, it is. And it, it burns different places, I think, with the 400. Like <laughs> yeah, the 200 yeah. burns in your mouth, but mm. the four, four, it burns all. I want to yeah. burn everywhere, you yeah. know? The, the, the 200 is kind of like at the back of your mouth. Mm -hmm. The 400 is just everywhere. It is. <laughs> it is. And it's got my nose running. It does. Which is good. I'm going to try this pork chop. Now try your pork chop. I'm excited about this. You should be. I wasn't expecting it. It's Cook, tender. Cooked beautifully. Yeah. We're here doing a video on chicken, but I'm eating pork. That's how you do it. And I'm glad I did it. So That's delicious. I. I love your spice mix. I think you've completely nailed that. Well Thank done. You. I'm going to have to run and blow my yeah, nose. Yeah, please do. Otherwise, please I'm going to make a do. That's myself. part of it. That's part <laughs> of it. Well, thank you so much for welcoming us into your incredible space. I love your story and I love your chicken even more. I wish you all the success for the future. And if you're in Nashville and you're on a, you need to find some hot chicken, you have to come to 400 degrees. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. <laughs> well, that was Nashville. I ate my own body weight in hot chicken and I loved every second of it. I definitely picked up a few techniques along the way that I'm gonna take home and bring into my recipe next week. Like this video if you get anything from it, subscribe if you're not, and we'll see you next week for the recipe. Peace.